Uh, our next speaker will be Daniel Kim, who uh, will be talking about understanding the conversion of rock to regolith using numerical modeling in the critical zone of the Bukio Mountains, Puerto Rico. And uh, go whenever you're ready, Daniel. Hey, can you hear me? Yep, perfect. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much for the introduction. Hello, I'm Daniel Kim. I'm the postdoc at Tulane University. I'm working with Nicole Gasparini, Renaud Scholar, Jane Willembring, and Emma Harrison. Today, I'd like to talk about the size distribution model affected by weathering using numerical model. This project is funded by the NSF. Uh, the grain size distri distribution depends on weathering process. To understand the relationship between weathering and grain size is important because grain size can affect the shape of a hill slope as well as channel bed. Scholars 2017 research presented a model for the transformation of an initial grain size distribution. So my research simulate this model by using numerical modeling tool. Before we dig into a specific model, I'd like to introduce my study area briefly. The zoology of my study area is almost uni uniform. Most of study area consists of a uh, coarse diolite, and minor area consists of volcanic rock. The study area shows a transient landscape. The ozone rate on the upper portion is 50 mm per kilo, kilo one from cosmogenic radionuclide. However, the row of portion solution rate is two times larger than one on the upper part. The channel prof profile and histogram of elevation results also indicate the transient landscape. We can see separated area clearly around 600 meters. So some research told the adjusting area is propagating to the upstream. Yep, so we can see silt clay size grain on the relic area. Meanwhile, we can see sand and granular size grain on the adjusting area. The study area experienced a tropical climate. The range of a mean annual rainfall is around one to five meters per year. And the mean annual temperature is 22, 28 degrees Celsius. So they found the regression equation with elevation. So we use this regression equation. Now, I'm going to talk about the theoretical information we used. Upper equation is about the relationship between grain size and weathering. Bottom equation is weathering function, W. It includes lithology, climate, and erosion properties. At this time, I focus on the impact of erosion properties. Um, the right figure tells the relationship between weathering and erosion rate. Um, simply saying, higher erosion rate causes less weathering and less residence. In addition to that, we consider two erosion thresholds. ESK is an abbreviation about the transition between supported limited and kinematically limited. If the erosion rate is larger than ESK, the grain start to move. EKU is a, an abbreviation about the change between kinematically limited and no residence. When the erosion rate is larger than EKU, the grain doesn't get any weathering process and residence, which means it is still fresh. So I simulated the models following this process. And scholars study tested many scenarios, such as different initial grain size, bimodal input grain size distribution, etc. However, in today's presentation, I consider one case of grain size input and we changing the erosion properties. 
And result one show the impact of erosion rate. To test it, I made initial grain size distribution on the whole catchment and got the result like this. To test the impact of erosion rate, the erosion rate below the point increased five times. The result tell particle size is coarser around an order of magnitude. This slide, we check the, the impact of erosion threshold EKU and ESK. Case one, the erosion rate of two areas are larger than EKU, which means no weathering process. Grain size, size is not changing. Case two, grains of the lower area is not weathered, but grains of the upper area is finer than case one. Case three, grains the upper area get intense weathering, but grains of another area get less weathered than case two. Case four, Grain of two area experience intense weathering. So we get the finest grain size. What is really exciting is that erosion threshold changes size, size distribution, even though erosion is erosion rate is not changing. And we set the threshold slope to test the impact of outcrop. We define the area over 35 degrees as an outcrop. The result shows three mode, but unfortunately, the frequency is the frequency of outcrop is too low um, because there is less steep area over 35 degrees. It consists of only five percent. However, we can see a dynamic result when we change the setting. In summary, our preliminary study indicates the grain size distribution depends on not only erosion layer, but also erosion layer threshold and tip area. But this model needs something to become a better model. First, this model considers unimodal input only. So I will test bimodal initial grain input and different input size. Second, this model needs a sensitive checkup to find more specific parameter space. Third, this model focuses on the Hessler process only. So it needs to couple with the channel process. Finally, I will make this model into the component of land lab. Thank you very much for listening to my presentation. Hey, thank you, Daniel. Um, well, um, let's, if you, anyone has questions, please add them to the chat or raise your hand. Um, um, so while we wait, I was curious about that climate term in the, um, when you're talking about weathering as a function of lithology, climate, and erosion, um, I was just curious what was in the climate term. Um, this equation is from Scholars 2017 paper. So it is a, a relationship between precipitation and temperature. Okay, it looks like people are still thinking of questions. So I'll, I encourage people to write questions in the chat. Okay. Um, but for, oh, um, Greg is asking, I realize you're focused on the hill slopes, but are there any data that indicate how rapidly class in the Lucio attenuate as they move downstream? Uh, I, I'm sorry, the ceiling was me. I cannot hear you. Oh, sorry, the is in the chat. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, uh, yeah, so actually uh, we uh, was going to go on a field trip 
um, last March to uh, check up the, you know, uh, Greg mentioned, but, uh, you know, yeah, but um, unfortunately we did not check it because of that pandemic. So yeah, th actually, uh, this is a preliminary result. So um, we gonna improve that model to make it more realistic. 